Hello everybody on YouTube, what goes on? My name is Cole Bush. Um, I'm coming to you today with another video. This is going to be just a quick little tip on how to uh, decrease your shoes. For example, I have my Lady Liberty, yeah, have my Lady Liberty 10s here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, like this toe, I've already done the decrease method. Because these, for some reason, they creased up real, real bad. But I've already done the decrease method on this toe. And you can see this one still needs some work. Uh, I got a little crease in there. I've only worn these like twice too. That's extra bad. You got a little crease in there. Um, so for my method of doing this, I usually like when I store my tins, I keep this little little plastic piece in there like in the toe to keep it from messing up any further. But everybody could do that. So what I do, I take a sock, uh, usually a thick sock. Ball it up. Make sure you stuff it down here and like into your toe box. And make sure your toe box is like is extra full and firm. Because what you're trying to do is basically you're about to iron your shoe. That's what the iron right here is for. This could be done in about five to ten minutes, depending on how bad your crease is. Um, yeah. So while that's it. Um, the next video was supposed to be a Space Jam restoration for y'all, which is still coming, but I gotta wait for the sun to come out so I can ice the soles, or else it would be pointless. But I gotta come for y'all. Alright, so next step, after you have your, um, the toe of your shoe stuff with a sock or some kind of tissue paper or something, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little towel like this. Usually you should try to do the thinnest layer of the towel. So you're gonna take your towel... And you're gonna put it over your shoe. That's gonna protect your shoe from any damage or anything like that. So you take your towel, put it over your shoe, like that. Um, sometimes it's best to use a wet towel, but because of this material, I'm not gonna use a wet towel. I mean, I could spray it a little bit. I guess I could do that. Spray it a little bit. Get it a little damp. What you're gonna do? All right. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna steam. So put your steam on there. Don't put the iron on your shoe for too long or you will end up messing up your shoe. Not responsible for anybody that messes up their shoe. Okay, just go ahead and give it a little bit of steam, maybe a little more water. So give it a little steam. that all right let's take a look at it and see what it's become let's give it a second to sit on there all right let's see as you can see it's becoming a little bit better uh there's still a little creasing over here so let me go ahead and hit that spot right quick Make sure. Right. Let's hit this last spot. Give it a little bit of water. We hit the steam on it. This this method works uh, usually on like leather shoes, which is what this is. Um, I would not recommend using this for suede. Um, I tried it on my grape fives and it didn't really have much of a difference. On my black grape fives, it didn't have much of a difference. So this method is more for leather or other materials of that sort, it's something hard. Um, don't do it on patent leather because it will crack it. And uh, so yeah, that's the finish. It's a whole lot better than you know what it was before. Still not all the way perfect. Got a little stuff over here, but it's just you, know, you keep playing around with it, and you'll get the fix out of it that you like. Uh, yeah, hope you guys can find this useful. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment. Peace out.